Damning. Look here. How nice is this photograph? After your father became ill, he picked this photograph. I wanted one for this living room. That way, any guests who came over, as well as our own family, could still see your father with a smile on his face. And your father could also see all of us living our lives happily. Mom, promise me something. You have to be happy yourself. Okay. Mom, it's almost three o'clock. Oh. Eat something. Thank you, Xiao Xiao. Xiao Chang, Jia Ming, in your father's will, it says there should be no wake or memorial and no tofu rice. We'll spread his ashes in the garden. I wonder what you guys think. Should we really keep the funeral simple? Mom, what's your opinion on it? I think it's best to respect your father's will. Okay, let's do that. Xiao Xiao, mm -hmm. I ordered some crepe and white cloth from the store. I need to get it at 3 p.m. Could you go pick it up for me? Mom, is it the cloth store on the other side of the bridge? Yes. Then I'll go right now. Okay, good. Let me go with you. It's fine. Bao Jiaming. Yu Xiaoqiang was still here earlier. I thought she'd get mad. So I sent her here on purpose. Now that there's only us, tell me the truth. Where did you actually go last night? Didn't Xiaoqiang already tell you? I had to work. I was on a plane. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm that ignorant? If you were on a plane, then it would say your phone is powered off. It wouldn't say your phone's not in service. You were never on a plane last night. Where were you really? Mom, stop asking me about last night. I didn't do anything unfaithful to her. It's fine that you lied to me. But why do you have to lie to Xiao Xiang? Huh? She never complained when I didn't accept her. Last night I called her looking for you, and she came to the hospital as fast as she could. When they were trying to save your dad, she was there for me the whole time. Since your dad passed, she is the one who's been running errands and helping me with things. She even helped me put clothes on your dad. She's fulfilled the duties that you should have been doing as his son. Now tell me what you're hiding and why your phone was off. I was with Dudu last night. Dudu? She, isn't she married and living in the U.S.? Why did she come see you again? She got divorced. She came back for work and I hired her. She suddenly resigned a few days ago. Her friend called me yesterday to tell me she was returning to the States and she was on her way to the airport. I didn't think I'd be able to see her again, so I went to the airport. It's a trap! There's no doubt it was a trap that she set for you! I know exactly what kind of woman Dudu is. I didn't approve of you two being together back then because I could tell! She was no kind of woman for a wife! How could you go to the airport to see her? And... And why did you spend the entire night with her last night? Her ex-husband saw us at the airport saying goodbye. He saw me hug her. He came at me and punched me. Then we got into a fight. My phone broke during the fight. Then the police took the both of us to the airport police station. Oh. I was there all night giving my statement. Bow down, Ming! You're already a man with a wife and a family! How could you go to the airport to see another woman when your father was dying and needed you the most? Can you even face your deceased father? Can you face me or Xiao Chao, huh? Mom, I was wrong. I swear to you, nothing happened between me and Dudu. She left the country. She'll never come back. <sighs> oh, Bao Jiao Ming, I'm so angry at you. If you Xiao Chao finds out what happened last night, that you were with another woman, that woman, I promise you she'll be furious. She... I can imagine what she's going to do to you. You don't even need to tell me. That's why I wouldn't dare to let her know. Jami, don't ever tell her about it. I don't care how many lies you make up. You cannot tell her you were with Dudu all night last night, no matter what. Yu Xiaoqiang is a great woman. 
You can never let her down. You must never tell her. Do you hear me? Huh? Yes. Mom was saying nice things about you. That you're a good daughter-in-law. That you were there for her the whole time when Dad died. Xiao Chang, it's good that you're here. Maybe that's because you weren't here. I think I need to explain Is to you. Is that necessary? I already told your mom and dad you were working. You can't pick up the phone on the phone and they believed it. I don't want to lie. Last night I dropped my phone and it broke. Last night? When I tried so hard I couldn't find you anywhere. I figured maybe you were mad at me. I know that I really screwed up. I thought maybe you were drinking with friends. Maybe you went to karaoke. I was afraid something bad happened. I thought of every possibility. I called Feng Feng and Xiong a bunch of times. I even called every friend of yours that I've met, but they all gave me the same answer. We have no idea where Jiao Ming went. Where were you when your dad was about to leave this world? Where were you? Who were you with when your dad wanted to say goodbye to you? He left this world so suddenly. There's nothing more important than life and death in this world. Do I need to explain that? I went to see Dudu. Finally, I get the truth. I already knew. She already texted me. What did she tell you? She said, thank you, Xiao Chang. Thank you for letting Xiaoming come and see me. It's not like that. Yesterday, her friend called me and said she was going back to the States. She said she was headed to the airport. I wanted to go and ask her why she was leaving. That's why, that's why I went to see her. It's necessary for me to ask about it, even if it was just a friend leaving. But are you two just regular friends? To ask about it? Did you not care for her enough? She couldn't find a job, so you gave her a job in your company. To be there with you every day. Oh. And you even revisited the house you two used to live in together. That must have triggered something in you. She must have really regretted it. Really regret leaving you in the first place. Otherwise, she wouldn't still be keeping all the stuff you guys had as a couple. You must think I'm an idiot. That's why she's always wearing mini skirts to work and walking in front of you. Her long legs are just so sexy. You two look so good together, unlike you and me. I'm just so old and ugly. <sighs> Listen to me, Bao Jiaoming. If you want to get back together with her, to bring back the past romance, if you want to leave me, just tell me. I can let you go. Nothing happened between me and her. Why can't you just trust me? I don't trust you. You stayed with her and tried to hide it. You two spent the entire night together. What exactly did you guys do together? How can I believe you? Yesterday we ran into Kevin at the airport. He came up and punched me for no reason. That's when I dropped my phone. Then some policemen took us away. I spent the night with the police. You ran into Kevin? I thought they were already divorced. That's such a rare coincidence. My god, that's so romantic. Two men fighting for a woman they love, it ended up in a police station? You must have done something for him to punch you. I didn't do anything. I just gave her a friendly hug. It was just a friendly hug. Disgusting! Disgusting! I don't want you to explain anymore. Go explain what you did to your dad, but he can't hear you anymore. Can you not bring up my father?! You Xiao Chang, just say it. What do you want? I've thought this through already. I'll stay with your mom and lay your dad to rest, and then I'll go back to Shanghai. I'll stay with mom for now. I'll take care of her. You should stay alone. Does it have to be like this? Yes. My mother's been sad enough lately. If she knew you and I were fighting, I don't know how she'd take it. Then don't let her know. Why can't you just believe what I said? No! 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 Xiao Chang. 
Let's say this is my fault. Can you please forgive me, okay? I can't. Just give me some time. You know I'm a person that can't force myself to do things. If I'm already hating you deep down, do you think we'll be happy together? It'll only get more painful. Give me time to think about the problems in our relationship. It's not about what you did only, it's about mine too. Give me time to think about everything, and you should think about it as well. Don't talk to me, I don't want to hear your voice at the moment. After Jia Ming's father was laid to rest, I came back to Shanghai alone. Jia Ming stayed in Anhui with his mom. We were separated temporarily. We should have trusted each other. But every time we have problems, we always end up fighting. Maybe this is what people call life. We are always nice people and polite to strangers around us, but we can't help ourselves but to hurt the ones we love and our closest friends. Xiao Qiang. Please sit. Oh, this is a present I brought back for you from Australia. Oh, thank you. What's going on? You don't look too well. Xiao Ming's father passed away and went back to Anhui. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you? Do you feel better now after going on a trip? Better now. But I still don't have it in me to go home. I'm still staying in a hotel. You still haven't gone back home? I don't want to make trouble. You know, my mother-in-law hates me. His mother, she's quite strong and a tough woman, I must say. Wang Yao's father passed away early. She was the only one supporting the family. Back in those years, it must have been really hard. Not long ago, I went to see her at the hospital. I feel like she's gotten older. You and I both know, old people's health get worse every time they go to the hospital. You and I are both women. I think we all understand now. Deep down, she's just a kind old lady. The truth is, I don't want to go home because of Guan Yao. Lanxin, sometimes I think your situation is quite hard. I know you truly love him. You also bear this man's past, which is Mao Mao and I. I used to hate you, but now I figured everything out. Maybe you're the one that's supposed to be with him forever. And I can only be there for seven years. He and I are destined for seven years. If I didn't get divorced from Liu Guangyao, I would have never been able to meet Jia Ming. If I didn't meet Jia Ming, I wouldn't have had the luck to taste love 
happiness, and the beauty of this world in the meaning of life so fearlessly. So technically, you're my benefactor. I should really thank you. <laughs> to be honest, I also am having some problems with Xiaoming. I want to take some time to think about it. You should too. If you think you still love him, if you really think you really can't leave him, then you must listen to the voice inside your heart. Make the decision afterwards and never regret what you choose. <sighs> Thank you, Xiaoqiang. That's you. This decision that you've made really surprises me. Mr. Zhou, please pass the divorce agreement to Liu Guangyao for me. Okay. Well, then finally, as lawyer of Mr. Liu, I want to confirm again. If Mr. Liu Guangyao decides to get a divorce in the end, you're willing to give up all assets and claims. Is what I just said correct? Yes. I've noticed some big changes in you since you returned from Australia. No matter what your final decision is, I would still like to say one thing. You know, marriage is very sacred, and you should be cautious about divorce. As long as you two still love each other, I really hope the two of you can carry on your lives as a family. Life's not just about property. Thank you, Mr. Zhou. I don't know the reason why you suddenly changed your mind on this, but I do respect your decision. And besides, you should keep this. I put three million in this bank account, but don't get me wrong. I was just thinking if your life doesn't go so well in the future, I would be very sad if I knew about it. You haven't changed at all. I really like how straightforward you are. Hmm. I haven't seen you in a while. Don't you have something else other than money to talk about? Sorry. Maybe I was being too straightforward earlier. Okay, let's talk about something else first then. How was it? Did you have a fun time in Australia? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You went there for a long time. I didn't go there just to travel. I went there on business. I was planning to never come back, to never see you again. So I got in contact with a nursing home there. I went there to discuss the contract. Oh, now I know. Well, I can see that you have really given up any hope on our relationship, on our marriage. You're settled like still water. Yes. I didn't take anything that reminded me of you when I went to Australia. Not even a photograph. But there was one thing I took with me after I thought for a while. 
I'll tell you what it is later. Just let me finish this first. That day, after the meeting at the nursing home, I aimlessly walked around the streets for a while. I felt like I was so hideous. Like I was a lonely ghost. I was thinking about things. When a young man came up to me and kicked me to the ground, grabbed all the things I had with me, and ran. What? How could something like that happen? Did you call the police? The street was very quiet. There was no one else around. I didn't know who to call. Once I calmed myself down, I screamed something. In that moment, I screamed your name, Guanyao. Isn't that strange? It is. I thought you were already a dead person in my heart. I never thought I would scream your name at that moment. I thought about it for a while. Then I realized something. A great awakening. You could say that. You were still in my heart at that point. But all that was left was anger and hatred. When I finally calmed down and peeled back those layers of hatred, I realized, hidden at the bottom, was love. What a great metaphor. It's love. Do you feel the same way? Maybe you're just like me after all. Right? Yes. The love between us is buried by so many other things. Now I can finally tell you what I put inside my bag with me. I didn't want to leave without this. Because it is my home. <laughs> now it's your time to make a decision. Do you want me to keep this? Or leave it here? up your mind? Yes, I did. Nanshin, you've made up your mind? So you two decided to carry on with your marriage 
and you're here to ask for permission? I can't approve of that. Mom, I know I wasn't being a good daughter-in-law. I've done a lot of stupid things. But I see my mistakes now. Mom, can you please give me one more chance? <sighs> Sit down. Sit. Anshin, I admit I had a prejudice against you from the beginning. That's why I have never really been kind to you ever since you married into this family. Well, I've thought about it. I did a lot of stupid things before as well. So if you can't forgive me for what I did to you, then I can't approve of this. Can you forgive me now? Mom. When I was waiting for you two to come back, I saw the light coming through my neighbor's window. A burst of laughter come out of the house. Then I got back inside my own house. I started to wonder why our house is like this. It's just so silent, quiet, and lonely inside this big house. I can't tell you how much I wanted you two to come home. I want us to be like our neighbor, to be as happy as them. We should carry on with our lives happily and peacefully as a family. All right? Besides, this ring of mine here was given to me by my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law didn't treat me well. But back in those days, that sort of thing was normal. When I put this ring on my finger, I told myself that I must be a good mother-in-law. I didn't want to be like my mother-in-law. But I didn't do well enough. Especially not to you. Mom. <laughs> now I'm going to pass this ring on to you. You have to learn the good things for me and also help me improve myself. Are you willing to wear it? I know what you're giving me right now is not just this ring right here. You're offering a home. I know a happy family is best for everyone. Mom, from today on, I'll be your daughter. And you'll be my mother, okay? Good. I still remember you told me when we first got married to respect and love my husband. I'll make sure to do that. Good. Mom. I am very happy. Well, from this day on, I won't have to be the middleman for you two anymore. <laughs> I'm also happy because I'm lucky to have such a mother. And I'm very happy to have such a great wife. Mom, would you put this family ring on her personally? Okay. And she... My dear daughter. Mom. <laughs> Mom. Good. <laughs> Xiao Chang, come out with Mao Mao to have lunch. Xiao Chang? Hey, huh? it must have been the car ride. Mao Mao's asleep again. Sleeping again? Uh huh. Perfect then. 
I was going to have a talk with you. To talk about what? Are you and Jia Ming fighting? And it's not just a little fight this time. Am I right? Did he complain to you? Before, no matter what, Jia Ming would always talk to me. It's precisely because he didn't come to see me to complain about you this time that I think this time must be more serious. So, tell me what happened. On the night his father died, he was with Dudu. They spent a night together. Did he explain it to you after? He told me to believe him. I don't care if you believe it. I do anyways. I don't think Jia Ming would ever do something like that to you. Dudu also sent me a text that night. She said, Thank you for letting Jia Ming be there with me. Well, if you're being so narrow-minded, then this is your problem. Dad, do you think every couple should have their own problems after years of marriage? Yes. All couples? Yes. But you and Mom didn't have problems. <laughs> How would you know? I feel like you only love my mom, and you put her in your heart. <laughs> How could you possibly know? But isn't that true? Well, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You always get involved in something when it comes to relationships. And you? <sighs> when I lived in the countryside, there was a girl who liked me. I still kept in contact with her after I got married to your mom. Did my mom know about it? Of course she knew about it. God, and she didn't take any actions? <laughs> well, that all depends. Your mother knew I'm an honest, responsible man. Dealing with this type of man, it's best just to leave him alone. Xiao Zhang, your relationship with Jia Ming is not like other couples. You are older than him. If worst comes to worst, if one day Jia Ming really falls in love with another woman, you'll have to handle it in a more rational way. I would kill him. Why are you acting so unserious? And not to mention, you're still the one who gets to call the shots in this family. If you can't handle this thing properly, this won't end well for anyone. I've said enough to you, but it's always about understanding, tolerance, and trust. As the old saying goes, a man won't do bad things if he has a good wife. <sighs> I'm being very serious. Remember this, huh?
情的故事，有悲也有喜，只要有你陪我在这里。生活在继续，难免有风雨，幸福就是相伴走下去。Hey, Mama, what are you drawing? Mama, you, why did you open all these letters your dad wrote your mother? Huh? Here. Here, let Grandpa hold you. <laughs> uh, uh, Mama, these are the letters your dad wrote your mother, huh? Now read after me. Do you want to read these letters after me? Hmm? Mm -hmm. This is Xiao Qiang. Xiao Qiang. <laughs> this is Mao Mao. Mao Mao. <laughs> Is Xiao Qiang. Xiao Qiang. Hmm. Mama scored another goal, but compared to his father, he's still not there yet. But almost. Honey. Hmm. Do you think you can still score a goal with one kick? Of course. But I bet you can't. What's your bet? If I'm right about it, you'll have to let me squeeze this pimple on your face. I'm afraid you already lost. What? Why? Didn't I already score a goal inside you? <laughs> <sighs> let me tell you, Yu Xiaochang, you shouldn't gamble with me anymore because you'll never win any bets with me. Understand? I understand. Good. 
Mau Mau! <laughs> Mau Mau, you scored again! You scored again! <laughs> Come on, let's go home. <laughs> Let Daddy hold you. Come on. Let's go! Let's go! Mwah. Don't ever forget. 